The Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Development, Festus Kayamo, has suspended all concessions, including the Nigerian Air, till further notice. He announced this while on a tour of facilities at both the local and international airports in Lagos. Ayomidi Ajigbe has more details. The minister is in Lagos for his first official visit and has been touring facilities in both local and international airports. One major thing in France has is the state of the old terminal, which led to a fresh directive that from 1st of October, the new terminal should be used. We should move and use the new terminal. That's all I've said. The new terminal that is underused, we spent a lot of money building it, and we have to use it. The old terminal is a total eyesore. Since I came into office, I've heard complaints upon complaints. The central air condition is not working. The carousels are not working. They broke down quite often. And the approach into the airport is smelly. It is totally unwelcoming, I mean, to people coming into Nigeria. And that is the gateway to Nigeria. While inspecting some of the facilities, the minister berates the monitoring and coordination system in existence and ordered that airlines whose aircraft have been grounded for a while should remove them in three months or they will be disposed. We want to expand the apron here. And so they will have three months for all those who have set on serviceable aircraft here. We are giving them three months, three months to come and take away their aircraft. After which we shall be at liberty to do away with these, um, with these aircraft. The minister also ordered the suspension of all concessions until further notice. Of those concessions should be suspended until I brief Mr. President. Air Nigeria should be suspended. I have directed Nigeria Air until I brief Mr. President. It's as simple as that. To make sure that the processes followed were transparent. And that is why some people were questioning my being appointed aviation minister. 90% of why I'm here is about laws and regulations. There will be questions. There will be agitations. Will it cave into pressure or will it bring about the needed change in the sector? Days to come, we'll tell. Ayomidia Jake, TVC News, Lagos.